Happy Generic Time of the Day, product people. Uh, this is Alan Neal from the PDM Show, at the PDM Show on Twitter and Facebook, pdm.show on the web. I was thinking today that I should do a car cast uh, because um, it, uh, it it's time to do one. Uh, actually, I was thinking that I want to do a car cast on how we have to stop as product people shooting all over ourselves and our product practices. And what do I mean by that? I mean, let's make sure in our product practice that we are only doing things that have a real authentic meaning uh, to our product and to our product practice. And um, where this comes from is I'm a huge fan of the late great mythologist Joseph Campbell. And Joseph said that, you know, in all of our, you know, personal, own personal developments and our journeys, uh, you know, we start off life with some kind of caretakers, parents, whatever you want to call them, uh, that teach us a bunch of rules, you know, such as we should look both ways before we cross the street, we should make our beds in the morning, uh, we should be polite, uh, you know, children should be seen, not heard all of this. And, and these rules are for our protection and to keep us safe. But uh, Joseph's point, point was, um, at some point, you know, as, as kind of uh, an evolved adult, you know, as the hero of your own journey, if you want to think about it that way, uh, you need to slay your dragon. And, and the dragon that he was talking about is, is you know, a fire-breathing dragon, uh, wings, scales, pointy tail, the whole thing. But he said, when you look at the scales on the skin of that dragon, on each of those scales are, are written just two words, thou shalt. Um, and his point was rules, for rules sake, you know, serve a purpose uh, at some level uh, when you're a child to keep you safe when you're growing up. But there comes a point where as an adult, you have to set those rules aside and uh, you don't want to be acting as an adult just because a rule says it should be. Um, so what does that, how does that connect to product practice? Well, let's, let's say you're a product owner um, as well as a product manager and uh, your team, your delivery team is using Scrum and the Scrum Guide says that you should do a daily stand-up. Uh, where everybody shares uh, their progress and, and what's on their plate, uh, and so you say, "Well, we're doing Scrum, so we have to do a we have to do a daily stand-up." Well, what Joseph would say in that context, and 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 if we looked at that as one of the scales on our dragon to slay, why are we doing that daily stand-up? Uh, if we're just doing that daily stand-up because the Scrum Guide and the Scrum Alliance say that we should do a daily stand-up, then Joseph would say that's not a good enough reason. Um, if we're doing a daily stand-up because we are a tight team, we're a highly focused team, we're a team with a shared vision and, and singular purpose, and we need to connect every single morning to make sure that uh, we're helping each other out, that we're engaged in each other's work, and that we're purposefully wanting to make sure that collectively we're achieving our goals. Um, and that's the mindset and the spirit with which you're doing your daily stand-up, then, uh, then by all means you should do it. However, uh, have you ever been at a daily stand-up, and I know I have, whereby, you know, let's say it's a group of, let's say it's a group of six or seven people, might even be smaller, and have you been at a daily stand-up where, um, you know, as one person is, is delivering their update, what, what they're currently working on, uh, what they worked on yesterday, maybe what they're going to work on today, uh, all of the other people attending the standup are either A, waiting for their chance to speak, so they're, they're in their mind preparing their own update, or uh, they're checking their email, or they're some otherwise, uh, other way distracted. Um, you know, if, if that's what they're doing, then they should not be at the daily standup because that's not the purpose of the, of the daily standup. So, um, recommending here in this quick car cast that you should stop shooting all over your product practice 
and make sure that uh, that that your product practice is uh, filled with uh, with authentic uh, ceremonies and with purposeful uh, activities, and that you're not just going through the motions would be the term, right? And uh, and this is the problem with us just adopting uh, you know the the methodology of the day or or the flavor of the month is uh you know the 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 ceremonies um are are not something that that we should just pay lip service to they're there for a purpose so we should try to um behave in this to you know to the spirit of the ceremony not just not just going through the motions so let me know what you what you think about that uh but i see a lot of uh, a, a lot of product people a lot of product teams uh, uh shooting all over themselves uh, one might even say they're shooting themselves in the foot, if I can, <laughs> if I can extend the, the 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 joke a little bit further. Um, and uh, you know, at, at a certain level, you should stop doing that, because not only uh, not only is it not effective, but it can actually be counterproductive. Because what you do is the the longer you have those hollow ceremonies. Uh, where there's no engagement, where you're just going through the motion, then that becomes a culture itself, and that becomes an expectation. So when you have a new team member that's going to come into that environment, um, they're, that's what they're going to learn. They're just, okay, that's, that's the norm here. That's, that's the, the way things are here is, is I just go through the motions, and, and, and that would be a sad state of affairs indeed. So, oh, so stop shooting all over your product practice. Um, ask the why question. You know, Simon Sinek, start with why, popping the why stack. Why do we have a daily stand-up? What are we trying to achieve? Are we actually achieving that? Is everyone engaged? And I would, I would say feel free to call, call your, other, your colleagues out on that. If, if you think they're just going through the motions, if you think that they're not setting the right example, then call them out because you don't want them shooting all over themselves either. So uh, this is Alan Neal for the PDM show um, saying stop shooting all over your uh, product practice. I can be found at the PDM show on Twitter and Facebook and on the web at pdm.show.